Howdy folks, Brett here. If you're wondering what exactly cash is, here's a simple definition. Cash, that sometimes people mispronounce as cache, is data stored on your computer that can help to make future requests for that data faster. There may be times cache is not functioning efficiently or is corrupted, so it's highly recommended to clear out the cache periodically to free up the space on your drives, troubleshoot issues on your computer, and improve the overall system performance. So coming up, I'll be showing you how to clear all the different types of cache on your Windows 11 computer. First up, a common type of cache most people know about is the temporary files. So we'll be clearing those out first. Go to search in the taskbar and type disk cleanup. Select it. Make sure your operating system drive is selected. For most of you, that will be your C drive. Click OK. A new window will open. You may need to scroll down on here and check the box next to Temporary Files. You can check the other types of files here if you want. In this example, Temporary Internet Files, Windows Error Reports, DirectX Shader Cache, Delivery Optimization Files. Scroll down some more here. There's nothing in the recycle bin. After selecting the files to delete, click on Clean Up System Files. You'll see this window again. Click OK. And then when this window shows up, click OK. You'll get this dialog box asking, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files. It will now clear out the unnecessary files that you selected. Depending on the age and the specs of your computer, this could take up to several minutes. The Microsoft Store is notorious for having issues with downloading and installing apps. And some people experience issues where it won't even launch. The best way to fix those issues is to clear and reset the cache for the Microsoft Store. If you have the Store app open, close it out. Then open the Run dialog box by right-clicking the Start menu and selecting Run. Or you could open it up by using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus R. In the box type, capital W, capital S, and then the word reset with a capital R, dot exe. Hit enter or click OK. You probably noticed a command box opened with no text, and when it is done, it opened the store app. This is one on older systems that could take a while to finish, but luckily in this case, it did it pretty quickly. If you're experiencing internet connection problems or having difficulty accessing a certain server or website, you may have a corrupt local DNS cache. To clear out the DNS cache in the taskbar, go to search and type command prompt. Don't select it from here. Instead, here on the right, click on run as administrator. The DNS, which stands for domain name system, translates domain names like Microsoft.com, Google.com, etc. to an IP address. Sometimes problems can occur like DNS cache spoofing, poisoning, or some other issue. Flushing the DNS cache can sometimes fix those problems, allowing your computer to connect properly. So enter the following command, I as in Indian, P as in Paul, config, C-O-N-F-I-G, slash, the word flush, F-L-U-S-H, and then in all capitals, D is in David, N is in Nancy, and S is in Sam. After entering the command, hit enter on your keyboard. And if you've done this correctly, you'll get the message, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. If you notice files or folders loading very slowly or not loading at all, clearing the file explorer history will delete the cache and create a new one fixing the issue. With the file explorer open here at the top, to the right of View, click the three-dot menu icon and select Options. Make sure the General tab is selected. In the Privacy section, click on Clear. Doing this will clear out the File Explorer history, deleting the cache. If you notice that your internet browser is running quite slow, a cause could be the stored cache data has become corrupted. So I'll show you how to clear the cache from your browser. I can't do this for every browser, but I'll show you how to do this on the three most used with Windows 11. If you're using Google Chrome, click on the three dot menu icon in the upper right and select Delete Browsing Data. 
This will open in the privacy and security settings. Check the box next to cached images and files. You'll also have the choice to delete browsing history, cookies and other site data, and download history if you have any. Clicking on show more will give you more stuff that you can delete. Once you've made your selections, choose a time range here at the top, anywhere from 15 minutes up to if you select more, all time. Select the time range you've been having problems with your browser. For example, if the problem was within the past hour, then you would select last hour. Once you've made your selection, click on delete from this device. When the pop-up window disappears, you're done. To clear the cache in the Firefox browser, click the menu icon in the upper right and select settings. In the left pane, select privacy and security. Scroll down to history, click on clear history. Check the box next to temporary cached files and pages and check the box next to any other one here that you want to clear out. In the drop down menu here at the top, you can select a time range. For this one, if I noticed the problem for the last couple of hours, I would select last two hours, then click on clear. And that's it for clearing the cache for the Firefox browser. And to clear the cache in the Microsoft Edge browser, click the three dot menu in the upper right and select delete browsing data. Check the box next to cached images and files and check the box next to the others that you want to get rid of. Here at the top, click the drop down menu, select a time range. I'll pretend I've been having a problem with this for the last day, so I'll go with last 24 hours. And when you're done with that, here at the bottom, click on clear now. If you're using a browser not mentioned, you'll find that the steps to clear the browsing data to be somewhat similar to what I've already shown you. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments what types of videos you'd like for us to produce in our Windows 11 Tips and Tricks series. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with the latest from Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.